God today will begin to reveal to us things in a different level. Giving us complete insight on things that are high and hidden. I receive it. There is a world that is beyond the world that we see. It's a spiritual world. Many who relate to this world limit themselves to the abstract. They believe that because I cannot touch it, it's not palpable. Therefore, it is the world Pastor is referring to. But the world I am referring to, that I will begin to present to you step by step, more and more, is a structured world that is more real than this world where you and I find ourselves. Those who operate in that world can operate just as you see now in the physical realm and even more. If men can speak in the natural realm, in the world of men, in the world of the concrete, in the world of the scene, they can also speak in that world. Just as movement is possible in this world, movement initiated by you, movement initiated by you is also possible in that world. I receive it. It is not a world of chance where it happens and all you do is take note of it. I initiate things in that world. I see in that world. Mm. I speak in that world. Mm. I move in that world. Oh God. I cause things to happen in that world. So are those who are in the spirit activated in God. I am aware that are those in the body of Christ more and more are like those who are in slumber. It is in fact a scene that are only those in the dark world who are illicit in the operation in the world I'm talking about, the spiritual world, that are activated. But today God will do something different. I receive it. Something good is about to happen I to the body receive. of Christ. For I speak not only to those who are on site, I speak also to those who are, are, are far off that my voice can reach. Receive it. Those online, lift your hand. Say, oh God. Oh God. Do unto me. Do unto me. According to your will. According to your will. You remain standing, I say this to you. I am still laying the foundation of the foundation that I'm laying. There are certain things, unless you get to it, you have nothing. Oh God. You can be nothing. There are dimensions. Unless you get to that, whatever you do means nothing. A spirit man who is not spiritually activated may wear a gown, have a certificate on the wall, Carry a leather, black, or brown Bible. That won't help him. Can I fix my suit? Don't be jealous now. Something is about to happen. I, I am here it. to say, devil, you like it or not, the body of Christ will never be the same again. In the For name fire of Jesus. fire is about to come. Fire is about to happen. I receive it. If it is you I'm speaking to say, I receive it. I receive it. Oh, well, I may spice the fact that I'm here telling you about fixing my suit and so it's just to keep you away, to focus you, to get you understand that you cannot miss this. Oh, yes. 
Hallelujah. Amen. I am standing as an apostle mm. in my generation. I am addressing evil in the layers of the spiritual realm. I am standing and saying, devil, your reign of terror it is over. I said, devil, your reign, reign of, terror of terror is over. Is over. Mm. Beware of the wizards. Mm. My God. My God. A complete turnaround is coming to family. I receive it. A complete turnaround is reaching homes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless his word. I receive it. Please be seated. The fifth and the sixth, I will be teaching, training pastors, ministers, those who love God, sons and daughters of God around the world. And though I love my theology, the theology on which I am trained, I won't be speaking theology. Led by the Spirit of God, I will be dealing with uh, spiritual things. Thank you, Jesus. The world, the body of Christ, need to understand the spiritual world and how concrete it is in its complexity. And only those who understand the scriptures and that those who have puppy fits in the spirit are able to give others by the Holy Ghost the inside to that world. Whatever we see and whatever we read makes sense. Especially if you understand the frame of the world that is unseen but yet revealed in the scriptures. So those of you who are registered for the prophetic training school for ministry, get ready to develop muscles that are your natural gym cannot help you develop. Amen. Mm, I receive it. And that those of you supposed to be part of it and are not yet part of it, we're counting days. I need you to go to www.alleliaministries.com and register. It is for your own good. Yes. It is your own investment. You're not doing it for me. Do it first for you. Amen. Do it if you believe the call of God in your life and if you just understand that there is value in you. Mm. While growing up in the Lord, I had an experience amongst many experiences that somehow left me thinking. It took long for me to recover from this experience. Loving God, I joined our home cell, which was quite a sizable home cell. A home cell called the Pelerin. Part of the church known as La Bonne, this church is still in the assemblies of God. Founded by my spiritual father, a pastor over him. He's probably right now in the world of heaven looking down and watching me speak. Labon was my home. So I developed and grew, learned, and mastered the bit that I could at that point of my walk with God. In what is known as the strict doctrine of the assemblies of God. 
where character was emphasized more than capacity, where the accent on the fruit of the Spirit was uh, more prominent than the gift of the Holy Ghost. I took my steps there and it so happened that I was visible and finally men and women from around our community will come also to me to seek help. When I was young, they gave me many names. They called me Papi Miracles because all I wanted to see was the hand of God manifested a miracle happening every day. For I believe that God is God enough Amen. to do what he say you will do. The desire of preaching the word of God and carrying on preaching the word of God brought me many nicknames. It was one of the greatest joy of my life, literally, to be able to help somebody in the context of ministry. I was not a pastor. I was just in a home cell. Now, one day I heard of a case. A case of a man who was a soldier. But I wanted help for his family that was collapsing and ran to church. He was not part of the church. He was just facing an ordeal at home and he understood that uh, for this matter, I need God. He tried everything else, it didn't work. This soldier came to church and I'm talking about the church I attended under my spiritual father. And it seems like he did not find solution. For some odd reason, they told him, there is a young man that is like a bulldog. If he holds something, he doesn't let go until it happens. <laughs> but it's not part of the structure of the church. It's not a... A deacon is not an elder, is not a recognized minister, but it might help because in his home cell, his dedication is just unbelievable. I was brought in the picture. I remember seeing this man, a very dark, muscled man that you will never want to have as an enemy. He looked so strict emotionless but I could see through his eyes that this man was desperate and he had in his hand his son a young boy looking at this young boy I would have said that he is eight to nine years old but when I asked they say this boy is close to 14 years old it is like a child who did not develop physically but you could tell after hearing that he was really 14 years old, his face was being framed like his father. A bit mm. scary. Mm. And he said, are you Alf? I said, yes. He spoke like a military in a way that was so scary. He said, I've been everywhere. I said, I was not everywhere. <laughs> he said, I went to your church. Now I am here, not trying to shoot anybody down. I will jump my story. He said, now I'm here. I heard that you can pray. You're an intercessor. Pray for this child. I was there looking at this child. I was part of what people say, the youth, meaning young. And he said, pray for this child. Because he's a wizard. And if you do nothing about him, I will kill him. Mm. Sons and daughters of God today, many, many, many years after, I am in the church I lead. I'm telling you a story. Mm. Because this story marked me. Jesus. He said, if you don't do anything about the child, I'll kill him. He's a wizard. Now we all know 
that talking about wizards, especially in the context of where I was coming from as a church, was something somehow bizarre. Is a wizard. Is this a trick of a parent who want to dispose of the children and accusing them of all kind of wrong things? Or is there substance in what this man is saying? I try to dig more and say, what's the story? He said he has confessed. I looked at the child and he was somehow like somebody in panic, in shock, not knowing what to do. I said to the father, would you allow me to have time with him? Go and come back. The man looked, looked at me and said, you better fix it. <laughs> Sir, I do not know you. I do not know your problem. But it seems like now I need to carry the burden of your pain. But you see, when you say yes to the call of God, mm. the problem becomes yours. That's right. Every pastor knows what I'm talking about. Right. You are blamed for everything. I sat with a child and I began to speak with this young child, interested to understand why would a father be so hard on the child? What is the crime of this young child, 14 years old, looking eight or nine? What's your name? He gave me his name. I said, what's the problem? With no hesitation, he said, I'm a wizard. Mm. I said, how did you become to be a wizard? He said, my grandfather introduced me. I said, do you understand what is a wizard? He said, I am activated. Oh, wow. And he began to speak. While he began to speak, ladies and gentlemen, I say this again. I had goosebumps. He spoke what he knew. He said, you know, I am bigger than you. I'm tall. I'm strong. Whatever is happening here is nothing. He began to speak to me of the world. He said, in my world, I rule. In my world, I speak and I listen. My father in the morning has power, but at night is nothing. He's speaking and he's speaking with conviction. I was there listening with ghost bombs. It was my first direct exposure to things in this magnitude. He said, I killed my mother and I confessed to my father. I say, were you beaten to speak? Were you under some form of torture to say what you say to your father? Because I could see that the father was a soldier and he looked like a commando, someone with no mercy. He said, no, because even when he beats me in the flesh, it does not get me inside. I killed her. I say, how? He said, I had to make a sacrifice. So, I had to make a choice. And I said, you could not choose anybody. He said, I have only my young sister. But you see, mom and dad leave us for some time days alone. I remain with my sister. And in the pain, my grandfather who here and there will step in, decided to ease my pain and introduced me in something that is bigger than the reality I had. This is a child speaking. And he says, my sister feels the pain like me. So I could not sacrifice my sister. I wanted to sacrifice my father. But my grandfather who is the father of my father, suggested that I'd rather do so with my mother. Mm. And I killed my mother. I said, you killed your mother? How? 
Did you at night come and strangle your mother? Did you come with a knife? What did you do? He said, spiritually, I got her bound and I brought her to the evil altar. And we slaughtered her. Your own mother. Ladies and gentlemen, is this real? Was he speaking under some influence of some substance? Is this just an illusion of somebody who has been exposed to too many movies out there? Is it a reality or it's simply a child who is losing his mind? Many questions without answers. I began to pray. When I called on God, God is a faithful God. Amen. The power of God came down from heaven. That day, I saw God touch that young child who began to convulse and turn. And I could see the deliverance of God taking place Thank in the Jesus. child's life. He was a screaming of fire, of pain. Whatever was holding him was suddenly put under a great uh, a torment of the spirit. Voices were being heard. He was screaming, stop, stop, stop. The more he screamed, stop, the more I caught on fire. I knew that this is not just some illusion of a child who's losing his mind. This is a reality of the spirit. So what I heard before could be true. That the world out there is literally a real world. It is a structured world. And it has a lot of activated agents. Mm. I pray for the deliverance of the child. Well, so far, it seems to be a normal course of ministry. Because somebody had an issue, brought it to one who could help in God and in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the scriptures, the person has been prayed for and the issue was dealt with. I called the father and say, it is done, your child is well, but tomorrow I need to see the child. And I began to take the child through a form of a discipleship. It seemed that the child was fine. After many moons, I could not see them. I heard one day that a child was found taken to my spiritual father, the same man. When I heard it, I said, I was looking for them. Those days, we did not have WhatsApp group. The means of contact were, was literally limited that you meet and you speak. Cell phones, we did not have. So I was intrigued to hear that the child was still brought to the, my spiritual father. He was seen in the office, in the queue. So many questions. Could it be that it was for a testimony? Because I'm not seeing them anymore. They don't come to themselves anymore. What is happening? Later on, sadly I hear that the soldier is arrested. Why is he arrested? The story goes on. The boy that was delivered decided to go back to it. And at this time, he introduced the young sister and they teamed up together to come after the father and the aunt. The aunt became sick, and through the sickness of the aunt, the young sister, who was new in the wizard's world, decided to confess that, well, I'm new in it. My brother brought me in. When the father heard that uh, the young boy that was so-called delivered by half lookout, was not fully out, went back. 
He decided to take the child back to the office of the church. I don't know what happened there. It might be that uh, he did not meet anybody. He did not have an appointment or whatever the case may be. And in desperation, the father began to say to himself, if I do not deal with this child, we will not be here. So I heard, he took the child at night to the Congo River. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second largest river or deepest river in the world after the Amazon and uh, the third longest after the Nile. Took the child, put him in a, a, a bag, tied him up, put stones, and threw him in the river alive. After doing so, he went to confess. He said, I killed that child. This is how he was arrested. The trauma of knowing that I prayed for that child and I saw what the Spirit of God did in the life of that child and yet he went back to end up dead changed my perception of many things. My life in that moment was traumatized. If today I introduce this message with this story again, it is because there is a matter to deal with. Mm. The Lord has anointed me today to lead you in a battlefield. In a battlefield where he has given you victory. Mm. The Lord has anointed me, he has commissioned me, he has assigned me to hold your hand wherever you are on a specific way, on the ground that is higher than the ground where you are. The spiritual ground where you want to give you victory over every spirit mm. that has been operating in man against you. I am convinced without anyone being able to convince me otherwise that victory is coming your way in the I name of Jesus. I receive it. Somebody say enough is enough. Enough is enough. Battle, God is giving you victory. I receive it. I say it. in this battle, God is giving you I victory. I receive. In Jesus' name. Amen. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 27. At the count of three, we read together one, two, three. A man or a woman who is the medium or who has familiar spirits shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. This is the commandment of God. Many verses linked to this one speaks the same, expresses the same commandment. Looking at it, it seems to be violent. It seems to be too strict. It seems to be too sharp, but it is what God, by the Spirit of God, had instructed His people. And that this was to help them understand how they should handle those who were spiritually active. The harshness of this word reveals how serious the matter was. That anyone that was spiritually active among the children of Israel had to be put to death. Now God created every man. And God is love. And the one who gave the word is love. If the God of love will be so strict with a certain people in their choices and in their stand, it's because there is a matter to be addressed. Look at somebody say, there is a matter to be addressed. There is a matter to be addressed. I read again in my version, Leviticus 20 verse 27. A man also, or a woman. A man or a woman. Because you see, this matter is not limited to gender. A man also or a woman who has a familiar spirit. Some versions say medium. Mm -hmm. Or oh, that is a wizard in my version shall surely be put to death. 
Oh, well, maybe we should delete this verse. Maybe it's not befitting grace. Maybe, maybe it's not worthy to be in the Word of God. If you have a revelation of how the spiritual realm operates, you will understand the foundation and the basis of this verse. And you will begin to pull and draw your sword for battle because it is eat or be eaten. Mm -hmm. If you do not pull him down, he'll pull you down. I am here to announce a new anointing. I am here to announce that the devil is in trouble because something big is happening. Jesus. They shall stone them with stones. The blood shall be upon themselves. You hear me, devil? Yes. Hallelujah. Many spirits is coming after you. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Fire. Please be seated. What is a wizard? Ladies and gentlemen, to understand what is a wizard will help us have the right stand on what God is sharing with us. Not only today and even the days to come. It will shed enough light to give us understanding on the spiritual realm and the reality around us. But uh, the best way to understand what a wizard is, is uh, first to establish what a wizard is not. One, a wizard is not a joke. Oh, well, we talk about wizard. You are a wizard. A mother will look at a child and say, a wizard. A wizard is not a joke. Two, a wizard is not a myth. Oh, well, we watch it on TV and we hear stories of yesterday, wizards operated, and some people say it and they feel intellectual when they speak about it. Wizards of yesterday. And they take it as just the stories of yesterday. A wizard is not a myth. Right. Third, wizards, a wizard is not a cartoon character mm -hmm. of a long a head on a man or a woman on the broom. When they speak about a wizard right now, you have a picture of what you watch on the cartoon. A wizard is not a cartoon character. Fourth, a wizard is not something to take lightly. When we speak about wizards right now, you must understand that we're talking about something that is critical, something that is absolutely critical. Many of us will begin to see the unfolding of that. Some of you under the sound of my voice, where you are is because you have permitted some evil powers to do this to you. Mm. Jesus Christ did all that he had to do. Life is not all that you see. Life is more complex than what you see. Life is not the bedroom you have and the sitting room and that you can design the garage and your shoes. And Life is more complex than that. There are dynamics in the, in the spiritual realm that affect your life on a daily basis. If you do not understand it and stand to address them correctly, you will keep on falling victims of that. God has anointed me to stand with you and share with you this word so that you may have victory. I, I am convinced in God that you will never be the same again. I receive it. A wizard is a spiritually activated person mm. from the devil's side. Somebody who is spiritually activated, not in the Holy Ghost, is what in this context we call a wizard. While some may give them many nicknames, mediums, sorcerers, magicians, and whatever you want, we understand that whoever is spiritually activated, not by the Holy Ghost, is a wizard. The witch 
is a wizard. A wizard is a man who has and operates with evil powers. You can't talk about a wizard without talking about some spiritual element that helps it or helps him or her do what he wants to achieve. There is power in every wizard. And that power is not God's power. It is an evil power that helps him or her do what he has to do. A sorcerer. A wizard is an evil man or an evil woman using forbidden spiritual elements. To cause pain. Spiritual element. The spiritual realm as you begin to understand further. Is structured. And it has substance. There are things in the spiritual realm. That are not meant to be used by us while here. Unless otherwise permitted by the sovereignty of our God. But you see, lawbreakers who have illicitly found themselves in the space of the spiritual may use the things in the spiritual realm that are not permitted to advance their purpose and wizard do just that. A wizard is a manipulator of spiritual agent for an illicit goal. Spiritual agent. You cannot talk about wizard without speaking about manipulation. Both in the spiritual and in the natural. Wizards are diabolical. Mm. They, 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 they can rewire things. Yes. And unfortunately, we are so simplistic in our Christianity that we do not even understand that. We do not understand that uh, we do not, we, we, we have wires. We are knitted together. We don't understand that. We do not understand the coordination of things that happens that we call circumstances and situation. We put everything in a box called coincidence. Right. We are too simplistic in our approach to say the least, the body of Christ today, that we think that we are spiritual and in spiritual maturity simply because we can quote John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have an everlasting life. We do not understand the things. We do. Yes. They understand that for marriage to happen, Something has to be coordinated in the spiritual and the invisible. They understand the wiring. Just like somebody who wants power illegally can take the wires, the cables, and reroute it, redirect it. Wizards. The world of wizards is a strange world, ladies and gentlemen. Is a world filled with bizarre happenings. So bizarre that I will need to take my time building you on what I tell you is absolute truth. Thank God what I'm sharing with you is what is aligned with the word. Amen. Thank God I am able to help you correctly. Thank you, Jesus. And that this is a help not only to you, Hallelujah Ministries, it's also a help to you, Pastor, listening to me. Mm. I speak as a spirit right now. I speak as one ordained in my time to face the devil for you and for this generation. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not speaking for an offering. Mm -mm. I'm not speaking to boost a church. 
I'm building the body of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Satan has trouble in this day mm. because he knows that God is revealing his word and through revelation, the right agent of God will be activated. Jesus. You will stand for your family. You will stand for those you love. You will stand for your own sake. And then you will kick that devil out of your yard. In the name of Jesus. We, we, we just lost too many people. Too many good people. Too many children of God who keep on wondering whether what God said is really true because uh, though they believe it and they follow it, they don't see it simply because uh, lack of knowledge in the right areas. Mm. Oh, while Jesus Christ came and died on the cross of Calvary and therefore uh, every wizard had died, uh, think again. When I'm a child of God, I'm under the blood of Jesus Christ and therefore the devil will do me no harm. Yes, that is what God say. But if you open a door, if you do not know what the enemy does, he will keep on finding his way and taking every chance on you. That's what the Bible says that you should not be ignorant of the schemes of the devil. Yes. You should not be ignorant of the schemes of the devil. It drives me mad. To hear all those uh, misplaced theology with pretending uh, big title holders completely speak of things they have no clue. Especially if they have an audience of more than one. <laughs> Help us. The matter is serious. Yes. Are you hearing me? Mm. The matter is serious. It goes beyond the church colors. It goes beyond the size of your building. It goes beyond the denomination you belong to. This is a spiritual matter. And this is a time when spiritual men and women should arise. And I stand as an apostle. I stand as one who says yes to the call. I stand as one who is here with the word of God to help you understand. Oh God. Do not use your the eloquence that God has given you to present the word of God to mislead the word, to undermine things you have no clue. Not everybody mm. understands this. Not everybody. Sometimes it is okay to take a deep breath, sit down, let me teach you. Jesus is Lord. One, two, three, fire! My precious, I'm not sounding arrogant, I hope. I'm just trying to enforce what I'm saying. I'm not trying to be poetic today. Right now, I am on the battlefield. Right. So if I sound to be so hard, so direct, so imposing, it's because I understand what is happening right now. The devil cannot like what is happening mm. because you're about to get out of his name. I worship it. Is it relevant to talk about a topic such as wizards? Hear me, ladies and gentlemen, sons and daughters of God, those of you who believe the word of God, those of you who are alone with God. The works of wizard activated evilly people who are operating illicitly in the spiritual realm to cause pain to men is uh, not to be undermined. The works of wizards are serious. Yes. They are critical. This by itself should lead us to understand how relevant this moment is. The works of wizards spare no one. Right. Works of wizards 
are literally found in every layer of society. Without calling anybody a wizard or pointing finger at anyone, may I say, there might be a wizard in your family. There might be a wizard at work. If you go by the fact that wizards are spiritually and wrongfully activated, human beings who became agent of pain in other people, when you look around, you will see them in every neighborhood. Mm. This makes message such as this relevant. Works of wizards are not bound by geographic distance right. or cultural belonging or social class. Oh, well, you see me, uh, I am in the city. I'm, I live in the suburb. See, I live in a big house on the mountain top. Well, I, I'm well educated, you see. I went to the best university, and therefore, when you talk about wizards, it cannot concern me because, you see, I have a doctorate in non nonsense. The works of wizards need to be stopped and can only be stopped when you understand mm. its gravity and use your authority against it. If you ignore it, it will carry on. This case must be stopped in, in the name Jesus of name. Jesus. Jesus. Is such a topic really relevant in our time today in the church of God? Yes, it is because God is now exposing the works of wizards and therefore to destroy them. In the dark place, the devil rules with boldness. Mm. When the light comes, his power is destroyed. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. As long as it is in the dark, it is concealed. Right. The devil will rule with boldness. Once the light of God comes and it is exposed, it is like removing the teeth of that diabolical spirit. Mm. The vampire will not suck blood anymore in, in your family in Jesus. the name of Jesus. One, two, three, fire! fire. So it is relevant because God is exposing the works of wizard everywhere we are. Did you say that in every layer of society there might possibly be the works of wizard directly or indirectly? Yes. Does that include the church? Oh yes. Yes. There are just too many wizards in too many churches. Jesus. And that thing must stop. Amen. My time is over. Next time we'll talk about what wizards do. How do they operate? The difference between just a demon and a wizard. How devastating the works of wizards are. How to recognize a wizard. Fire. And how to deal with wizards. Jesus is Lord. 
Deliverance is coming to your house. I receive it. Freedom is coming to your house. I receive. Total victory is coming to your house. In the name of Jesus. You will never be undermined again. I receive. You will it. not be stopped again. I receive. The planned calamity against you, your home, your children will not materialize in the name of Jesus. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Wherever you are, throw your hands in the air. Begin to pray. Cover yourself under the blood of Jesus. And more also, thank him for what he's giving you. The Lord has given you his word. He has sent his word to heal you, to set you free, to restore your mind, to restore your soul. God intends to do something that only he can do. The devil is in trouble. Satan is in Jesus. trouble. The devil will no longer rule over you. The Name spell breaker is here for you. The spell is broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray. Pray the Holy Ghost. Pray the Holy Ghost. Sabababo. Rekata bababababashia. Rababobo soto. Praise speak to God. Pray in the spirit, press forth in the spirit, take control of the realm that God has introduced us to. Take control of what God has just done. No wizard shall be able to destroy your family again in the name of Jesus. Take this moment serious. Take this moment serious. Your destiny of your children depends on this moment. Understanding of this realm is critical. For this realm exists and this realm has made people and given them power over you because of ignorance. But today the light has come. Today the enemy has been exposed. The devil has been exposed. No premature death in your family again. No premature death in your family again. Take back your rule. Satan will not rule you again. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Father, we adore you. We thank you because you are God. We thank you for this word, oh God. Oh, the word, oh God, that has brought light on that that has been concealed before. Oh Lord, we thank you for that that has been exposed. There's no power over us. Power has been taken from the hands of the devil just because he has been exposed. The angels of the Lord has been deposed, dispatched to your household in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We thank you. Father, this is a relevant word. For Lord, your children die in ignorance. But Lord, tonight, oh God, you have exposed the wicked one. Father, now, oh God, we have a little bit more understanding of the dimension of the spirit. Lord, where rulership has been going on. But Lord, tonight, God, you have made sure that the rule of Satan has been taken away from him, stripped from him. Father, Lord, we have understood tonight that we must take our position back. In our homes, oh God, we take it back. Father, we pray for our father. 
Lord, as he's opened up, O oh God, to this realm, Lord, we know and we are sure that he's covered by your blood. We thank you for angels, oh God, military angels that has been dispatched to his life. Father, I thank you, Lord, that as he is in the battlefield, oh God, oh Lord, he's protected, he's covered. And Lord, we cover his, oh, his, our mother with the blood of Jesus, the children with the blood of Jesus. For Lord, as exposures going on, the enemy will try, but Lord, we have won. We thank you for victory. Somebody give God glory for victory. Give him praise for the victory. You have the victory in Christ Jesus. Stay tuned and do not miss the series as the man of God will continue on the series. Make sure you invite your family. Make sure you invite your, your business partners, your family members, your friends, your colleagues to come and join us so that they too may know how to identify a wizard. Not everybody knows that there may just be a wizard in your friendly circle. There may just be a wizard next to you. There may just be a wizard in your house. So don't miss the next se session of the series. God bless you. Shalom. We love you. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Afloq Howe on AMI TV.